What's up YouTube? Kevin here, Captain Hooks Fish, and today is Lucky Tackle Box Unboxing for February 2019. Um, we're just going to jump right in and see what we got. I got this, uh, I think Friday, had some stuff to do over the weekend, so I didn't really get a chance to do anything with it. So today, we're going to check out the Lucky, I'm sorry, yeah, Lucky Tackle Box for February. Let's dig in. All right. Let's get our little booklet out. A little tackle guide here. This is what we got first off. 25 25% off any purchase of $10 or more. Not a bad deal. First thing we got is the Big Mouth Baits Iggy Pop. See if I can round that up in here real quick. There it is. It's an awkward looking little lure. Looks like a popper, pop water. Let's open this thing up. Top water and mid depth, so it must do a little diving too. Let's look and see here. First thing I notice is my phone's ringing. Stand by. Sorry about that. That was my wife. <laughs> so anyway, we got the Big Mouth Baits Iggy Pop. This is a topwater bait that can be fished multiple ways. The mouth has two, I noticed this, has two line eyes. The lower line eye enables the lure to produce the walk the dog action in its concave mouth. It can also serve as an oversized popper for varying your retrieve. Tie the upper line eye to your top water. Now becomes a shallow jerk bait. So it's two, two, two baits in one. Uh, it says the best uh, line to use is 15 to 20 pound mono or 50 to 65 pound braid. These are on riprap, stocks, rocks, points, open water, poles, and reeds. And these ducks are going crazy here this morning. But one thing I noticed uh, on the bottom here, I don't know if you can see it. It's got three beads in there. Three rattles. So that thing's going to make quite a bit of noise. This, I'm not sure what this is. Maybe that helps keep it stabilized while you're walking the dog or pulling it across right underneath the surface. But loud baits for larger fish is what it says. So we will definitely give that a shot. i got a few places I can use this at. Put that back up. Next, we have clear cut J500 jig. Good looking black and blue jig here. Um, I don't know, maybe a quarter ounce, something like that. About a quarter ounce. Looking jig. I may tie this one on today. One thing I'm going to try to do this year, I want to try to work on my pitching with my uh, bait caster. My spinning reel, I can pitch it, I can put it in a in a solo cup. I'm not that good with the uh, bait caster, but I want to definitely work on my bait casting pitching and uh, go from there. Little hook sits up top there. Hopefully we got something in here we can put on the back of this. We may try to pitch this this morning. Next thing, all right. My, one of my favorite companies, Smart Baits. We got the Smart Bait Root. I love all the Smart Bait products. I use them quite often. Uh, they've got a ton of different creature baits, Cinco style, everything you could ask for. This one here, I just dropped it down on the ground. Nice looking on a preacher bait. I'm going to pop that loose there. Give a little extra action. We may go with that on the, on the jig this morning. See what happens. Smart baits. Brutes. Be right back. And I'm back. But yeah, these I'll throw these uh, weedless and weightless. I'll throw them uh, on a jig. I'll throw them... 
Carolina rig, Texas rig, any way you want to rig them up, these things are a bomb. Next thing, some must-had hooks. Somewhere, there we go. We got three yachts. Must-had hooks. Must-had always makes a good product. Like must-had, those would go good with the uh, smart baits there also. What do we got next? Nope, there we go. The Bait Rigs. Bait Rigs Tackle Company. Haven't heard of them before. But these are a trailer for a jig. I like the back side of these already. That little flaky, almost looks bluegill, like a bluegill or maybe a shad. Put that on the back of that uh, jig there and let that thing do its magic. Lots of action. That'll catch some sunlight if you got that side to top up. Be a pretty deadly combo in the right, right spots. But uh, that's it for this month's Lucky Tackle Box. Not a bad box. What they get in the XL box? They got uh, BB Rattle and Jig, jig Spoon. Let's see if they got anything else. Oh, a Lunker Hunt uh, Froglet. I've seen those before. Pretty, pretty neat looking little thing. But uh, pretty good little box. I think I'm going to tie this jig on and uh, one of those trailers and try to do a little pitching. Like I said, I want to try to work on my pitching this year. There's a few things I want to try this year. Uh, Tennessee has what they call the Tennessee Anglers Recognition Program, or TARP for short. Um, it's based on different species of fish. For instance, I think a uh, tarp fish for uh, spotted bass is 22 inches long. They go by length, they don't go by uh, weight. So I should be able to get a couple of those this year. I'd like to get uh, a few of them. I think I probably had one two weeks ago when I went and caught the uh, those spotted bass up there around the dock on the uh, big golden shiners. I think I might have had a uh, tarp there, but uh, didn't have a tape measure. That's one thing you got to do. You got to carry a tape measure with you. You got to measure it from nose to tail and uh, take pictures, submit your pictures with the application and a $5, <clears throat> excuse me, a $5 check or money order. And they'll send you a certificate letting you know that you've, you've accomplished that uh, tarp fish. Also, if you catch five different fish, five different species, um, you get the Master Angler 1, and I think it's, that can be a combination of any five fish, so you could catch two spotted bass and a large mouth and maybe a small mouth and a, maybe a bluegill, a 10-inch bluegill is a tarp fish, I believe. But uh, any combination of five fish gets you the Master Angler 1. Any combination of five separate fish gets you the Master Angler 2, then you go on up from there, to, I think, to the Master Angler I don't even know what it's called. But uh, I'm going to try to get me some tarp fish this year, see if I can get me a few certificates to hang up in my little office there and uh, have some fun. But, yeah, definitely this year I'm going to learn how to pitch. Uh, I watch some of these guys that pitch with their uh, bait casters. Kyle Welcher is one. If you're not familiar with Kyle Welcher, he's from up in Cleveland, Tennessee. Check him out. Uh, Welcher is W-E-L-C-H-E-R. Kyle, of course, is K-Y-L-E. Got a YouTube channel here. Does a lot of fishing. He just went down to a uh, big tournament down in Florida in the middle of January. Brought home third place. Huge check is what he got. He's not sponsored by anybody. He, he's all on his own right now, but he's doing a heck of a job. And uh, this past weekend, he went, not this weekend, but weekend before last, he went to Okeechobee, fished a big tournament down there. Missed the cut by three ounces, I think. The third day, he missed the third day cut. Top ten go to the third the third day. He missed about three ounces, but brought home another check. So check out Kyle Welcher fishing. Let him know you heard about him on Captain Hooked Fishing. And uh, give this guy some love. He's, he's doing what we all wish we could have done when we were his age. He's probably 22, 23 years old. And uh, he's living the dream. <laughs> but anyway, let me get rigged up here. And I'm going to walk around this pond and try to pitch a little bit. Y'all stick around, 
Um, as always, I appreciate each and every one of you. Our sub count is growing slowly but surely. If you're not subscribed to Captain Hook Fishing, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the dislike button. Let me know what you don't like about this channel. Uh, I'm not a pro. I just like to fish and like to video my, my, my fishing. Um, but yeah, hook us up. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to me. Let me know you subscribed, and I'll subscribe back to your channel. We'll help each other grow. As always, have a great week, great weekend, and remember, take a kid fishing. Right now, I'm going to get hooked up, and we're going to do some pitching. Mm -hmm.